Hi everyone, today is Friday, October 7th, 2016. And on Gogglebox, there's this one person who mentions that humans should have chips. As in microchips. Now this has got to do with taking the mark of the beast, which you shouldn't do. Um... Because it's got to do with like RFID chips and stuff. Because uh, the Illuminati and Freemasons can send out a signal. And if you have these chips inside you, then they can control you. So the other day I was thinking about um, why doesn't every human have a microchip in them to say where they are? Dogs have that. The Delaney Elwoods. I would like to have a microchip because if anyone tried to steal me, you could hunt them down. Like, we could. Take it. We could. Mm. You, you, you're not so far out, out of kilter because we could do that with your phone. I know, but the thing is, if someone stole, steals me, they'll take my phone off me. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And also, can I say, what if you don't want to be found? What if someone's trying then to get you? Then don't get microchipped. But I'm saying that I would like to be microchipped. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But is it possible or not? Could you? Well, oh. I think we could take you to the vet and find out. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> it's also like organisations like the CIA, the British Secret Service, things like that. Like... If you had these, if you had a chip inside you, then it would be much more easy for those organisations to find you if you were on the run. So they can track you and watch your every move, just like a type of Big Brother situation. See how how uh, these represent the rich Freemason elite. <coughs> And um, th this woman even represents the woman of Revelation 12. And that's why she's wear she wears blue jeans for Jesus, Israel and Jacob. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> like if we go back slightly. If one tried to steal me, you could hunt them down, like, we could. take it. We could. You, you, you're not so far out, out of kilter because we could do that with your phone. I know, but the thing is, if someone stole, steals me, they'll take my phone off me. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And also, can I say, what if you don't want to be found? What if someone's trying then to get you? Then don't... What if someone's trying to get you? Just like Satan is trying to get the woman of Revelation 12. Just like the dragon is trying to get the woman of Revelation 12. Satan, the dragon, is coming after her. So, <clears throat> remember in the last video that I did about, um, like, Illuminati Freemason symbolism in Hollyoaks, when uh, Amy was wearing that shirt that had loads of pyramids on it, and um, Tegan was wearing a shirt that had like loads of Egyptian symbolism on it. <clears throat> and now I'm going to show you this one website that, that the character Liam is looking at on a laptop. And it says things like Cleopatra and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So you get the point with that anyway. <clears throat> And that Egyptian symbolism has got to do with the fact that we're underneath the burdens of Egypt. See Mike Pence, his religion is evangel... Well, I can't even say that. It's like evangelism or something like that. Evangeliscalism. That word there, anyway. 
that's his religion. And it represents just like Evangeline Lilly, because she represents the woman of Revelation 12 as well. That is why she has got a blue shirt on for Israel, Jacob, and Jesus right there. And even the blue bikini that she's wearing underneath. Or bra, or whatever it is. So, yeah. Like, see even that blue bird there? The blue for Israel, Jacob, and Jesus. And even that, that represents the eagle that is granted to the woman of Revelation 12. So, look, Evangeline Lilly welcomes second child. Evangeline Lilly is a mother again. Just like this woman is about to become a mother when she gives birth to us, when we are reborn into our immortal selves. So Evangeline Lilly represents this woman. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you all at the wedding feast of the Lamb and keep faith in Jesus Christ and God. God bless. Hallelujah. Don't you think it's very strange that on the episode of Hollyoaks, Straight after, I mean, that was it was basically two episodes of Hollyoaks in a row. That had Egyptian symbolism in them. <laughs>